but now uh, we have gone over Fighter Road, we've gone over the arena, and now time to get into some heavy points of uh, updates as well. The cat, if you will, uh, go ahead and start us off on the brand new gameplay changes coming to Season 4. So first and foremost, we wanted to make the game, I want to say, more expressive, right? And so the best way to do that is to change many mechanical elements to it to allow players to play in specific ways that they want. And one of the first ones was improving the grounded run speed. There are a lot of characters in the game that have had their grounded run speed increased. So that's just one of the many things that we changed. And I, I know y'all saw, you know, Ajax and I, we were kind of yapping on a timeline and, you know, doing the most. But we as an entire team felt very passionate about this and bringing this to life in game for you guys. And so now that we're finally here and able to show you, this is this is really a moment in my opinion. So like you said, part one. Come? Part one, oh, some, one, some movement speed on the ground for characters overall, as you saw some of it with our last patch, we improved a couple there. We have continued to improve that now. We also improved the very important factor of the game, fast falling. So when you fast fall before, there was, uh, it took a little <laughs> bit longer to get down now. <laughs> Look at the difference. Fall, especially if you have it set to tap, you get it pretty instantly. You are now in much more control of what you want to choose for your outcome and how you want to. Dude, play. look at the Jason, bro. <laughs> down to, Dude, that's amazing. To line up people. You want to bait someone. They're doing something reckless by using movement. We have added uh, uh, more speed to fast falling. We have adjusted the way it works. Uh, it will take a little bit of time to get used to, especially off stage. So make sure that you're prepared uh, <laughs> for where you need to adjust your timings. But this will open up a lot of new combo routes. I'm so here approaches, for it. A lot of new ways to provide some unique expression which I think the cat in that clip as well, uh, we talked about up next, uh, another change Charter. that we added to uh, the gameplay. Did you say something about approaching? Well, let me talk to you guys. So with the added run speed and the fast fall, everything kind of weaves together, right? It kind of flows and works together, but we got to jump a little bit shorter. You know what I'm saying? So with short hops being introduced into the game, it's going like to how the short Nubia is hopping, man. You can just wave land immediately or dodge land immediately. Risky rather as the person that is trying to approach before when you were short hopping you were jumping a little bit too high making it a lot easier for your opponent to react to your aerial approaches which in part made you want to play more grounded anyway because not only was it super rewarding but it was the safest option no more now you will actually be able to jump at your opponent and it doesn't have to always be with an attack you can opt to just do nothing at times or land with a universal shield breaker as well if your opponent decides to try to shield your aerial approach shields but shields shields getting to shields yet <laughs> why not yeah that's a checklist we still have to get to down this list uh as, alongside short hopping too it does allow more unique and easier access to platforms which is something we've been trying to improve on and yes yes so yes platforms, not only have we made it easier to be able to access them with short hops but also the way that the wave dashing was working before, it took full bars of meter and it had no invul on it, which meant that you were likely to get punished. So we have now altered every wave dash to return dodge meter based on how many invul frames you had left remaining from that dodge. So now we have made it so you can use the movement a little bit easier. You won't huh. be burning your meter for it. and you'll be able Cost to less meter though, afterwards. just in general. So uh, it's going to take a little time to get used to at first, but we are continuing to improve on that. Not only off of platforms, but on the ground as well, because uh, we want to make it so you can have a little bit more access to different ways to be able to get in. So, uh, But also not make it completely necessary to have to use this to get in as well. It's a little way bit less meter burn, burn for dodge landing overall is the, the big change. And that's really amazing because... Yep. And so we need free movement lastly, or movement that costs less dodge meter. Everybody that participated in the testing grounds, we really appreciate all of your feedback. And we were able to actually get a lot of that feedback in to uh, help make blocking feel a lot better in multiverses. As you know, blocking adds an added layer of depth to combat. And so we want multiverses to not only feel like this rewarding experience when it comes to hitting your opponent, but also allowing players to show skill through being able to defend themselves. So things that have actually been added to the shield mechanic this time around, uh, shield damage and hit pause have been tuned. We also have changed the way light and medium projectiles interact with shield doing reduced damage. Dude, what? Black Adam Shieldbreaker is down there now? What is that? 
change the way light and medium projectiles interact with shield during reduced damage. That's crazy. Damage. Uh, we standardize the shield break attacks to have more consistent frame data and sizes. Shield breaks from shield break attacks and stamina drain both pop up opponents for a consistent punish window. And in terms of visual effect work, we've actually removed the shield icon from the middle of the shield, and we've also added feedback with flashing to show when a shield is being hit. Uh, Steven How bright that yellow is, dude. He was one of the first <laughs> characters, or the only character to really have a shield. Uh, he can air shield, and if you hit his shield in the air, it kind of bounces. It has, like, on-hit bounce. And uh, when he's on the ground, he now has a standard shield like the rest of the cast. And hitting someone's shield actually gives you whiff branch timing. So it's as almost as if the opponent whiffed the move. Therefore, you will have a lot more time to actually hit opponents uh, for hitting your shield. And lastly, uh, we improved the feel for shielding from a run. Before, when you guys were trying to like run and shield, you would be met with a dodge. Now you'll be able to actually stop in place if you decide to press the shield button. And so these are some of many ways that we have improved shield. And we hope that you it's a new game, chat. Enjoy this Season four is a new fucking game, man. We're really, really excited from being able to take that feedback and apply it to the mechanic to make it even better. And just to clarify as well, we are still in the experimental phase of shield too. So not oh, so it is still in the testing grounds too. But we did get a lot of questions related so it's to not... to try it out more. So it is not currently in the main queue. However, okay. it is not yet. available to be used in custom games in the lab. Hey, there we go. Huge. So, it's so... available to be used in... Uh, so, it is not so you could do I... Queue. However, so he's just doing an IAD to be used in custom... down air straight out of shield. Custom games in the lab and in local mode. So... You can not only still provide us feedback from being able to play it at any given point in time that you would like to try and express it out, but you can also uh, head testing it a bit longer. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, man. On the carousel within the menu, and and custom menu, too, and we will be posting throughout every testing round uh, post as well. Uh, you can let us know how you feel. Let us know what you uh, think that's been uh, coming alongside Shield, and we're continuing to make sure as the cat just expressed as much improvements as possible. So we, if Shields get fully implemented, they are as uh, clean and ready to go as you can if. based on your feedback and what you have seen so go into custom games go into the lab do everything you can with them find unique stuff find ways to break it let us know we're always looking for a brand new feedback on that all right and, uh, we're so really she... excited to hear what you have to say with version two of what she, uh coming up with shield and, and also thing. oh no yes. you can actually oh, that's fine no you got it no 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 but the week we'll talk about this one quite a bit it's actually two oh, points oh, i forgot right, to right. note there as well so uh, one of the biggest talking points uh, that we have been working towards and we have uh, finally gotten a full overhaul on is we have been able to go in. Uh, there's no footage. Hitboxes? Uh, we have gone in and we've done a hitbox overhaul. No footage. Characters. So shouts to the gameplay development team who went in and uh, looked through every single move that we could finally go through uh, and check every single point we would see if maybe something was hitting behind, maybe something it's was hitting in a position work. that felt a uh, spot. I mean, so I've been posting how many on Twitter? Like, uh, y'all just check was, those uh, moves, man. So high on our points of <laughs> Everything on Agent Smith, Smith, please. And uh, now there's a full combat hitbox overhaul. And of course, still keep an eye on anything that you see that you may, uh, uh, you know, may look a little bit off. Please let us know. We're oh, I will. Trust me on now. that. This is going to feel very different uh it's gonna uh we're we've been testing it uh thoroughly and we're very excited what's coming out with it uh nick i mean this is this is what we've been talking about for quite a bit yo i the team really 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 wanted to make it they want we, we wanted to make a point where the players know that we have been listening for such a long time and we wanted to reward the players for their time and dedication to multiverses with a game that they truly truly want to play and also of course be expressive with how they play it and so we already know that players love the game and they want to play it naturally but how can we continue to improve the experience not only just from a cosmetic standpoint because those cosmetics are beautiful i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but from an entire gameplay perspective and so we hope with these changes you are all not only extremely excited but of course we cannot wait to see you play what feels like an entirely new version 
of multiverses because Absolutely. there's a reason why Ajax and I were like tweeting as much as we were and then the team is staying up late after hours to continue to play the game because it just feels phenomenal to actually sit and play and so I want to give a special it looks like a whole new game man member of the team and all of the work they did to make these changes and faster ground speed intuition. faster fast yeah, falling shorter right, short there's hops there's actually there was one more as well uh that have, was brought up by quite a few people and uh something we mentioned that we were uh working towards hitbox and, overhaul uh, too man work towards removing weekend from the game uh weekend oh, is yeah. being <laughs> get that shit out of here uh, a different form of a buff uh for a couple people oh, yeah. who let's go have, like, needed other uh, couple characters that uh, were based around that kit uh that in their kit well we have removed it uh from Thank every kit and uh, yes. we're working towards yes. a couple ways to uh yes the perks that were utilizing it <laughs> oh my god that was heavily utilizing it that's amazing quite a bit uh but the the uh, weekend was causing uh, much earlier chaos than we uh, were looking for uh as well as yep. uh, leading to positions where basically if you were behind you were almost being rewarded for it a little bit too heavily uh and we want thank to god man no weekend so weekend has not only been removed but we will be continuing to work towards ways to uh replace any of them that were dedicated to that and with uh brand new buffs or brand new unique ways to play that was actually a very good catch by the way very good catch that, that was the, I, the, I, the I one the i forgot yeah. to write down it's like oh wait can't forget this one thank god <laughs> like, get it yeah. out of here <laughs> so everybody is excited for that as well but mm -hmm. i mean and we're not also, even done we're not that's that's yeah, the, that's we're, we're still done. we still got more to go and of course um get ready to read uh those patch notes uh not only will there be a lot of uh combat based changes but there's a lot of different uh changes that have come to many many characters uh who uh when are they dropping ajax say, uh, 9 p.m again so he's <laughs> uh, so late at night for no reason and uh, change that around we've been paying close nerf shaggy nerf agent smith, smith please i beg of you ladder, but also uh the events that have been going on as well we want to make sure that we got that addressed so uh we will be you will be seeing that you'll be seeing some characters uh maybe that you haven't seen welcome back jake uh and you will be seeing quite a few other <sighs> no, characters uh, he, he uh, never left getting some new changes stop this a couple of unique uh, uh uh changes to their movesets uh actually overall uh i'll leave that for a surprise though uh looking at finn uh we so up next we not and... only have talked about all of the combat changes but of course we got a couple maps and a couple other things to talk about the cat we're not done yeah we are not done Actually... so wow look at that first of all so the combat changes though it seems like just what they showed was pretty much everything we we knew was coming for the most part but the one they didn't really say is increased ground movement speed for a bunch of characters i'm curious because last patch, it was already a decent amount of characters got those movement speed buffs. I know Rick did. Um, so I'm curious if it's just kind of the rest of the cast that didn't get the movement speed buffs last time are now finally getting the movement speed buffs. Um, so better ground movement speed, thank God, much needed. Um, just the shorter shirt ops and faster pass falling is going to be so nice. And they even made it now so dodge landing doesn't cost nearly as much meter. So just short hop dodge landing is going to be... A, such a good option man and even just short hop aerials now is going to be so much better as well um shields aren't coming quite yet but probably in the mid season or season five still more testing you finally test them in custom custom games which is nice um it's uh pretty hype missed the moveset for uh raven yes he did that was like right at the start man 